Volkswagen Group CEO in hot water in the last couple of weeks after saying something I, I don't even know what to call it, inappropriate, out of line. I, we'll, we'll discuss this and maybe find a name for it. Uh, he did it during an internal meeting with managers and uh, it leaked out because they were so um, disturbed by that. Uh, they wanted to leak it to the media. Well, I'll tell you what it is. But most importantly, we'll discuss whether or not it disqualifies him as continuing on as the CEO of the largest automotive group in the world. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward, but most importantly, become a part of this community. All right, so Herbert Dice, um, pictured here, uh, having uh, making a speech at one of the memorials uh, in Israel, and I'll tell you why he I picked this picture uh, in a second. So he took over from the previous uh, a CEO who was obviously disgraced as part of this whole Dieselgate, uh, a, a scandal that we all know about. Um, well, apparently he was making comments to some of the uh, directors. I, I, from what I understand, they were they were talking about why Porsche was able to make a little bit more, had more wiggle room to make some decisions, some independent decisions versus some other brands under the Volkswagen umbrella, like Volkswagen and Audi and Bugatti and so forth. Um, and um, uh, Dice, the CEO of Volkswagen Group, um, said this. He said, work sets you free. Um, and that was translated from German. Now, in case if you guys don't know, that is a very uh, tough phrase to say, especially in German, because as you can see in uh, on a lot of gates of the concentration camps during the World War II, that was that was the message um and just a little bit of history just in case if you don't know or forgot uh volkswagen uh was the company that was founded by uh, mr porsche um and he was part of a nazi party at that time in germany that wasn't very uh, uncommon and uh but the during world war ii um a lot of the labor that was used to make volkswagen cars including volkswagen bug uh was while using the concentration camp uh, labor and this is the labor camp gates there are quite a few different pictures i uh, got this one from wikipedia um that that had that phrase now uh, generally in germany you know ever since you know the world war ii the never again movement uh, has been everywhere and germany has obviously reformed itself but now in the last couple of uh, years the anti-semitic movements have started to rise again as a matter of fact in 2018 i believe the um rise in anti-semitic crime went up by about 10 percent so just giving you some content context about why this phrase should just really not be all, uh, ever said especially in german especially by the CEO of the, the Volkswagen Group, the very company that profited from the slave labor of uh, lots of Jews that were later executed during World War II. Um, but he did say it. Now, um, here's what happened afterwards. And this is why, now it's bad. Listen, this is, this is definitely bad. But at the same time, I don't believe that really, you know, uh, accusing him of being anti-Semitic or whatever um, is really the case. Uh, it definitely is not. But we, but can we accuse him of being too inconsiderate, too dumb, to not know to say this out loud? And uh, there are a couple of other things that are happening with the Volkswagen Group that I'll, I'll tell you in just one second. Before that, I want to remind you. Now, this video on this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out the Ambyte, the all-electric SUV coming to the U.S. and Europe next year, uh, starting at only $45,000. And uh, it doesn't take anything, zero money, to uh, make a reservation for uh, your Byton. You can do it at byton.com or browse to the description of this video and click on the reservation link to reserve yours today. Okay, so now... To, uh, and, you know, by the way, we give a lot of, you know, grief to Elon Musk, obviously, because he is always has the spotlight on himself and he has said some things that were, you know, either stupid or controversial. Um, I b believe one that I could just never forgive him. It was so uh, indecent, I believe. But, you know, other CEOs are human too, believe it or not. And in this case, um, you know, he did apologize pretty much immediately um, as soon as he realized what's happening. Um, he posted his apology uh, in German. I would prefer if he would have done it in English um, because really the apology should go to 
all over the world. Um, you can easily click on the translate uh, in the, in LinkedIn posts, so you can translate it. But he essentially, he apologized. He explained uh, why he used that phrase. To be honest with you, I would have also not used the phrase as your. And as a matter of fact, it's like his at the third word word right here. I wouldn't have used that phrase. Uh, once again, um, so I don't know. It just it just sounds like he doesn't necessarily 100% get it, but he did apologize. He said, "Listen, this is what I was talking about. This just kind of happened, and I in no way, you know, uh, uh, tried to hurt anybody." Which I do believe him. Um, I really do believe that that wasn't his intention. Um, now the board of directors, unlike Tesla's, is actually pretty independent and they've issued their own statement. They basically said that the board strongly distances itself from this, but at the same time uh, takes note of the immediate apology from Mr. Dice. Now, this is, I believe this was an email statement that they sent to Bloomberg. Um, and, you know, and, and I feel like, and again, just to contrast between Tesla and and, and Volkswagen Group, and I, th this is the type of stuff that the board of directors really needs to do and understand that they, our job is to oversee the CEO and so forth. And they, in this case, um, they, they are as, uh, essentially doing their job as overseeing what's happening with the CEO of the company. Um, now, on top of that, uh, I don't know if you guys are aware but um sec uh the same uh the same agency government agency here in the united states is um in uh, in the battle with elon musk and tesla but they're also just um move forward with their action against Volkswagen Group here over the diesel gate. And even though now, I know it's kind of weird because the diesel gate has been settled with the Department of Justice, um, and yet the SEC is moving forward uh, with a separate action because this one is essentially about uh, Volkswagen Group misleading the investors, right? Not just customers and people in general, but investors uh, with their stock price. And, you know, it looks like there's some merit. Um, Volkswagen Group says, listen, we're, we've been tried and convicted here. We've paid our price. Like, uh, you know, houses, we're doing this again, but uh, it, it looks like it's a separate issue. Now, the question is why it has taken SEC such a long time. I don't know, but these are all the things that are happening right now. And the question is, is this enough? Is this stupid enough? Uh, for the CEO to resign. And obviously this CEO, unlike the previous one, has been very uh, productive at the very least with all of his brands, right? The Volkswagen as the ID series coming out uh, in the next couple of years will be, you know, four cars. Um, obviously Audi e-tron is in production and being people are driving e-trons in Europe right now, very soon in the US. Um, two, three more models for Audi are coming. And of course, Porsche Taycan at the end of the year. Um, even Bugatti is thinking about, uh, and I believe Lamborghini is thinking about uh, um, you know, going electric or at least plug-in hybrid. So he overall has been good to electric car movement. And so from that position, of course, I would be hesitant. But again, uh, let me know in the comment section. I don't know the answer, to be honest with you. I would I would need to, you know, have more context in terms of has he done this before. Um, and, and so... Uh, but so I'm going to leave it up to you. Uh, in this case, I'm literally just delivering the news, but let's talk about positives and negatives. All right, so it's kind of tough to talk about positives here, but there is some positive news. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the positive news here, here, I believe, is that the, you know, he issued the apology. So that's number one. Um, secondly, that the board had also came out and said, listen, that's not okay. Uh, we want to distance ourselves from that. Um, and at the same time, uh, you know, it, it, it shows that, you know, maybe if there's some flaw in him, if he's done something like this before, then maybe he's not the right guy to lead this company. I think this overall, these are positive, I, uh, positives. I, I hope you agree with me now. Do I even need to say what the negatives are? This is really, 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 really bad uh, for the company. Obviously, this is something that's, you know, unacceptable, I think, in most of the decent uh, societies uh, right now and um, and I again I, 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 we can't be we can't get into his head and, and realize understand why uh, it kind of slipped in, into there uh, but I guess um, I guess we'll come he's still under pressure to from some people to resign that he's still you know there's a lot of people still upset with him so I don't think this is over um, I'm sure I will continue reporting on this if there's any there are any developments 
Now, by the way, I uh, just want to remind you guys, we now have a VIP list, so you should definitely subscribe. Just go to e4electric.com slash VIP. You'll get some uh, uh, exclusive content, offers, uh, and news uh, every week, so check it out. Obviously, it's free, um, and the link is also in the description of this video. Just also wanted to give a quick uh, shout out to uh, one of the newer Patreons, uh, Rufus Isidore. Thank you so much for joining my uh, Patreon community, the only place where you can watch me live, uh, and thank you to all of my Patreons for contributing to this independent channel. Of course, patreon.com slash electric is where you can join yourself. All right, guys, um, not the greatest story, but I'm looking forward to your comments and seeing what do you think. Let me know. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.